The E3 Madness continues, and this time we give you a special all-access look at Star Wars The Old Republic. The Force is strong with this episode. It's time to get your fingers on the pulse. Hi, I'm Deborah Shin, and welcome to BioWare Pulse. Yesterday, we took you behind a special all-access, behind-closed-doors look at Mass Effect 3. Today, for Star Wars New Republic, instead of showing you guys a big boss fight, we've got something else very special planned for you. We're going to give you an in-depth look at our show floor demo on the iconic Star Wars planet of Tatooine. I'm here uh, with Dallas Dickinson from BioWare Austin. So, Dallas, who are you? I'm the director of production uh, in charge of Star Wars The Old Republic. Cool. So I hear also afterwards that uh, people are going to get a chance to get on the show floor and, and play a little something of The Old Republic. Absolutely. What are they going to get to experience? So yeah, this is the first time we've, we've allowed hands-on on the show floor at E3. Um, uh, people are going to play Tatooine. So the most iconic planet in the Star Wars universe. Players are going to get to go there. They're actually going to get to ride around on their own personal player vehicles, something they haven't gotten to see before. Uh, play with some companion characters we have yet to reveal, so I think we're going to be revealing them over the course of this week. But yeah, it's, it's a really, really fun gameplay demo. The higher level folks will play, uh, will play on Tatooine. The new, the new players are going to be able to play the origin world, so they just get their feet wet. So uh, which one's your favorite companion character that we're showing today? Uh, so this is the exclusive here, Blizz. <gasps> Blizz is uh, a Jawa that your bounty hunter actually gets on the planet Hoth. So it's a little Jawa with like a fur fringed uh, hoodie, a little anorak, I guess is what it's kind of called. It's, Blizz is awesome. Well, that's very exciting because I know that Bioware does companion characters uh, really well. So, well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, definitely hang tight and we'll be right back with a special presentation. Thank you. One of the great things about E3 is that you never know what kind of celebrities are going to arrive. Here I am, actually joined by Jedi Master Yoda. How's it going? Mm, very excited to be here, am I? Mm? Now, what demos have you seen yet? Mm, mostly focused on the Old Republic, am I? Mm? Now, what do you know? You've seen like a lot of action with the Sith destroying a lot of the Jedi Temple and whatnot. How are you going to mount the counteroffensive, Yoda? Three thousand years of history does the game cover, so learn some new moves I have in that time. Mm? Pretty sure that wipe the walls with the Sith, I can. <laughs> now, I've seen you in uh, episode two wielding the lightsaber, and that was pretty amazing. And then the whole like Jedi force, you know, sucking of the energy, that was amazing. Do you got any new tricks you can show us here? Hmm. Well, unfortunately, here in the booth, forbidden from using force powers, am I? Sad this makes me, but understand, because very crowded at E3 it is. Hmm? <laughs> it's definitely crowded. But Yoda, hey, it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, you are the Jedi Master. I yield to you, Yoda. And uh, thank you so much. Sweet. Honored am I to have been interviewed by you. Hmm? <laughs> All right, well, you never know who we're going to see next. This is uh, David Silverman for Bioware Pulse. Keep your fingers on the pulse. Hi, my name is James Olin, game director on Star Wars The Old Republic. Today we're going to be showing you Tatooine, the most famous and iconic world from the Star Wars movies, and the world that we're showing here at E3 in Los Angeles. So... One thing that you saw just a few minutes ago were player speeders. So this is something that all players will gain access to as they go through the game at higher levels. And it allows them to traverse the huge distances on some of our bigger worlds, such as Tatooine, Alderaan, Hoth. We have really big worlds. If you look at a world like Tatooine, this, the amount of square miles of Tatooine is probably the equivalent of, um, say, every single area from a huge game like Dragon Age, one of Bioware's fantasy games from a few years back. We have many different models of speeders as well, so this is just one model you're seeing right here. They're carefully trying to avoid all those beasts so they can go straight to the cave, which is leading to their objective. Here you see the map. One thing you've probably noticed as we've been doing this demo is that our interface is completely revamped. It's new. We made a lot of changes to the interface, both to make it look a lot better, to make it fit with the Star Wars IP, and also to improve the functionality of our UI. One of the cool things about the map is when you bring it up and you're moving, you'll actually notice that it will go 
translucent. So we're about to get into a fight with some sand people. We have to uh, kill a bunch of the sand people so we can find a compass. We're going to use that compass in order to find the Sith that we're looking for right now for this quest. You'll also notice on the top right that we now have a bonus quest called Blood on the Sand. There's many, many bonus quests in Star Wars The Old Republic. Bonus quests are a way for us to give you the classic kill and gather quests that you've seen in other MMOs, but without having to put a story reason behind it. It's kind of silly to tell a player to go kill 10 troopers, um, so we much rather do that in these bonus quests that come up when you're in an area doing that activity. So right now we found the compass and we just used it to discover where Darth Sithar is located. Now we're opening in the map. You'll notice that on the map, all of our objectives um, can be seen and are marked on the map, so it's easy to find your way around. Did Captain Pella send you? Such a good man. Eh? The pity he didn't send young Hale, but the honor is yours. <coughs> You will hear my last words. A pitiful death for a pitiful Sith. You think so? Oh, but you haven't seen what I have seen. The Force called me into the desert. I sensed what Circa found. An alien power. I saw a white room. I thought the Sand People would know the land's secrets. I murdered them. Stole their thoughts to find this cave. I knew mean, victory before I had destroyed me. Your story's amusing, but this is pointless. Forgive me for prattling on. My journey here was not for nothing. Zerka built its base over a site for the natives' myths. A forbidden land. The paintings in the cave show the way. Find them. Record them. And here the player has the option of doing a good choice or a dark choice. And they chose dark. So, 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 so. And that's it for our brief look at Tatooine here at E3. Well, that just about wraps things up here. For more information on Star Wars The Republic, visit www.swtor.com. And be sure to sign up for a chance to test the game through our game testing program. But before we leave you guys, we actually got a lot of questions about the Mass Effect 3 live action trailer. And we've got an awesome behind the scenes video to show you. In about an hour, we're going to be shooting here at SC Village. We've got 65 people here. It's a veritable army moving this thing. We'll be depositing in a city of San Francisco being attacked by Reapers. Basic part, falling out of the helicopter. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Very excited to get this thing out of Action! Hey! 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 Oh! We're almost done with our E3 coverage, but be sure to stick around for tomorrow's main event. At 9 a.m. Pacific, you will get the opportunity to chat live with our developers and answers to your Mass Effect 3 and Star Wars The Old Republic questions. Go to www.masseffect.com for more info on this live Q&A and details on how you can submit your YouTube questions. Thank you for tuning into BioWare Pulse. I'm Deborah Shin, and may the Force be with you.